have come tonight to the most fabulous and celebrated place in the world. Here on the plateau of Gizeh stands forever the mightiest of human achievements. No traveler, emperor, merchant or poet has trodden on these sands and not gasped in awe. The curtain of night is about to rise and disclose the stage on which the drama of a civilization took place. Those involved have been present since the dawn of history, pitched stubbornly against sand and wind. And the voice of the desert has crossed the centuries. mountains of stone, everything becomes minute and insignificant. These massive monuments and the names of pharaohs whose tombs they are have crossed the ages. Their glory has defeated time. assembled by Cheops' faithful workmen to achieve this fabulous construction. At the center of it, the pharaoh planned his inner chamber, where his mummy was to lie in splendor for eternity. At the foot of this pyramid, in the rock, a temple was built, and there were kept the barges of Cheops, the barges of night. In these large wooden vessels, the dead pharaoh could continue his voyage in darkness. Carved in rock near his tomb. monumental tomb was soon to complete this immense funeral site of Gizeh and make it one of the wonders of the world. Though smaller, the pyramid of Mykerinus is perhaps the most impressive for being the culminating point of a vast design. Having built it, the workmen climbed down. I saw the ambitious dreams of conquerors whirling like dead. As my motto, I chose an Arab say. The world fears time, but time fears the pillars. <laughs> Of all ancient monuments, 
It is the pyramids which have always appealed most vividly to man's imagination. Considered from its top downwards, the pyramid is like the sun's rays bursting through a gap in the clouds. It commemorates the greatest victory of all, victory over death. To achieve this, the bombers prepared the body for two months, emptying it of all but its heart and kidneys.